Hi, my name is Bob Grinier and I'm a volunteer with the Martin Fleischmann Memorial Project. Okay, so in Japan, uh, testing Roshi Navaz's Mars gas, uh, we exposed this 10 yen coin over here, which we've seen before. Uh, maybe this finger will help better. Uh, to uh, a few seconds exposure and it lost some um, uh, material or it appeared to lose some material uh, there was a hole blown through and on the other side there's a little bit of an indentation and so uh, we tested this weight against this 10 yen coin that I also had in my wallet that I found later and the nominal weight of the um, minted coins is supposed to be 4.5 grams and so the, there was a question raised um, uh, when this was tested and uh, looked to be 4.45 grams or thereabouts um, was there actually any material lost? Uh, this suggested that there may have been, but then people say, well, it's only one sample. Of course, it is only one sample. So uh, over the past couple of uh, weeks and months, I've uh, secured a number of uh, 10 yen coins from different periods. So these are from different sort of decades uh, of uh, 10 yen coins. And this one is claimed to be uncirculated, although I'm a little bit skeptical. Uh, because they like to try and add value to coins by uh, making out that they've been uncirculated. Uh, I have to say it looks a little bit uh, less tarnished, uh, so there may be some truth in that. Anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to weigh the coins uh, and to see if there is um, a similar kind of story as we saw before between the exposed coin and the uh, unexposed coins. And uh, actually, none of these coins are from the actual same year as this, um, but they do span a very large period. And the coins were uh, minted, I think, from 1951, uh, I think, to 1988. Uh, I don't know. Uh, a very long period of time. You can check that on um, uh, Wikipedia. So uh, first, I'm just going to measure the, the coin that was exposed. Uh, so we need to tear that. And... Uh, we put it on there, and uh, 4.452, we could put a little wiggle and just slightly reposition it on the transducer, 4.459, and uh, it's got to get it on the center, 4.451, yeah, so it's still reading that uh, sort of 4.451 kind of figure, so I'm going to put that back over there. And we will try the one that we tried before. And it's uh, over 4.5 grams. Give it a little wiggle. 4.499. Slightly sitting on the transducer. 4.498. 4.498. So around the nominal weight of the minted coin. So I'm going to try doing the same for these other ones that we have here from different periods. And uh, this one here has a little bit of dirt on it. I don't know whether it's uh, eaten away or, or whatever, but uh, you can see it's got a blemish on it. Um, so they've all been in circulation. So, um, so that is under 4.5. Um, so we will have a little wiggle there. 4.479. So this is a little bit lighter. So this era, maybe there are areas where coins are, have been minted which are a bit lighter. So um, let's try another one from that period. Um, four point. Okay, so 4.517. 4.5. Five one two. So this one looks a little bit heavier. So it's interesting. Uh, four point five. So that's bang on sort of a nominal minted value for a ten yen coin. Four point four nine nine. Okay, so there you go. This one's got a mark on it as well. Oh, okay, so we have two coins in this period which are reasonably close to the 
Mars of Gas uh, exposed coin. Let's have a look again. Yeah, that, I mean, that's quite close. 4.454. Four point five four four point four five six. Okay, so there was that first one there. Let's go back to that one. So four point four seven. So um, this one here would appear to be quite close to the um, a Mars gas um, exposed coin. So I'm going to try them from this period. What I will do is at the end of the video, I will go close into these to yeah, for, so you can see the uh, text on there. So those that can speak Japanese can uh, maybe work out which period or which date each coin is from. Okay, so this is the, another one that's close to sort of 4.45. So, sorry, 4.5 rather nominal minted weight. Yeah, that one's a little bit lighter. Okay, so what about this one? Point four nine. Okay, so that's very close to the sort of nominal minted weight. Center. Yeah. Okay, so we have another one here from a different period, which is all, uh, very close also to the weight of the Mars gas treated coin. Okay. And there we have four point. Five two three. This actually has some sort of material on it, so it's not surprising that it's heavier. Four point five two six. So that's the heaviest of all the coins, but it has something definitely on it. And then we will open up this supposedly uncirculated um, coin. You can see it's a little bit brighter than the other ones. I'm not convinced it is. Okay, so this. <laughs> This actually is the lightest of all the coins here, it would seem. Yep, 4.447. So we have one coin. I think one of these coins over here was on a par with the Mars gas treated coin. And this one is actually, I think it's below the weight, 4.447. So I'll put that back in there. And I'll put this uh, Mars gas treated coin on here. 4.45 so this one this one actually this are so you know it, it could be that this is lighter from its minted state um, it could be that they count the tarnish in in into the weight um, maybe I don't know uh, of the in circulation coin or maybe some unscrupulous coil coin dealer um, maybe gave this some sort of uh, etching wash and a, and a polish to make it look like it was uncirculated so I, I don't know but um, this is the lightest coin of all of the coins here um, so that's maybe true or suspect I don't know and just got to go back so that's 4.451 which is how it's always measured when we tested that coin and we go here and that's 4.505. Shake. 4.505. So okay. So what we can say is, I, th I think from memory, these two here were close to the weight of the Amaza gas coin. So 4.466. And this one here, it was. Yeah. So th this one's actually around about the same weight as the Amaza gas coin. 
uh, with this one. So this is the second lowest weighted uh, coin that's been in circulation. So um, this is interesting. Now, what this means is uh, we can't say for sure that this actually did lose mass. Um, and I think having these coins here, um, we on Monday, uh, that is uh, Monday the 23rd of December, we should be receiving the BN2000 Browns Gas uh, Generator. Now it needs some work, it needs a new um, brazing torch, it needs to have a, some sort of transformer uh, fitted to it, um, and uh, it needs to be tested and, and uh, given an overhaul. This might take some time, we have no idea how long that will take. However, um, what we could do uh, later down the line is actually test that torch uh, with some coins when we know the weight beforehand and maybe if it's possible to create a similar kind of uh, effect to what happened when this apparently blew a hole through it. Um, something like, uh, as I suggested before, it, it seemed to kind of maybe maze the uh, OH ions that were uh, observed by a number of researchers doing uh, electrolysis based um, work with uh, water. Um, the OH between the coin and the back of the plasma channel uh, mazed uh, uh, its way through uh, because the OH bonds self maze. Uh, that's my uh, postulation. And uh, this is something that uh, um, Slobodan Stankovic uh, observed something similar, um, and that needs further investigation. But it, and he was just using uh, a HHO uh, generator. So this BN2000 may give us the opportunity to uh, look at these coins and do a similar test. And um, we can actually know the weight of the coin that we're going to be uh, testing. Uh, unfortunately, this wasn't weighed. You saw the, the live experiment. This wasn't weighed before uh, it ran through the experiment. Um, so that's how, in combination with all of these different era 10 yen coins, we can't be certain that this actually lost mass. Um, although <laughs> the average of these weights uh, is above this, um, but uh, the t there are at least there is at least one in circulation coin that's on a par with the weight of that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video and I'll go in and closely look at the dates for those that uh, uh, can understand the script and can decipher what age each coin is that we've just tested. So I've got a, a bright torch here, uh, you can see maybe here, and I'm going to use that to uh, catch the glint off the side of these, hopefully, and you can see the writing on there very clearly. Okay, so, okay, so, the Marzagas treated coin and the first sample test coin, these are the ones where the top left and the um, bottom left had a kind of like... Uh, lighter mass. I'll try and get that in focus for you. I don't know if people can read that. Uh, maybe there was a particular years where the coins were slightly minted. This is the second row of coins, second grouping of coins. Maybe some Japanese speakers out there can give a date on each of these. That's that individual one. That is the third group. That's that bottom center one was the one that was heavier. And this is the one that was lighter and supposedly not in circulation. So that is the group of coins. So thank you very much for your time. Look forward to seeing you in the next video.